What's up guys, let's chat six here again. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Harvest VR, a casual farming game where you can grow vegetables, fish, cook, and do other similar activities. You can also unlock tools as you go along with the money you make off of the vegetables. I personally really enjoy games like this and it gives me kind of an Animal Crossing vibe. If you love VR as much as I do, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Harvest VR. You start out in this farmland scene and the only option you have off the bat is new game. Real or simulated time? Hmm. I'm gonna do simulated time for now. That way we can move along a little faster. Okay, put my name in there. What's your farm's name? Awesome. <laughs> Let's call it Chat Farm. I like the music. There we go. Let's play the tutorial. Why not? You can grab your backpack by reaching over your shoulder and pulling the left or right grip button. There we go. You can grab your wallet by reaching for your breast pocket and pulling the left or right grip button. Oh, there it is. Very cool. You see some information of an item by pressing the A or X button while holding it. All right, corn, throw it in the collection bin for money. Now on to farming. First prepare the ground with a shovel. Try it now. All right, ooh, that was easy. Plowing, prepare your ground for seeding by using the hoe in it. Oh, easy enough. There we go. Plant the seeds. Plant your first plant by holding the bag upside down above the shoveled ground. Okay, there we go. Watering the seeds. Your plant needs some water to grow. Rotate the watering can forward to start pouring water above your plants. Notice a growth indicator will appear, indicating at what time the plant will have grown. Try it now. Got a little start there. There we go. We got our tomatoes. Next is harvesting. The plant is at its final stage and is unable to grow any further. The crops appear on the plant and are able to be harvested. Oh, you can teleport there? Okay. Got one. The health of a plant is only visible when it is full grown. Three hearts mean you can harvest three times until the plant is lost. Okay, we got a couple more. And then we can sell. The crops are harvested and ready to sell for the big cash. Walk to the nearest collection bin and open it. Throw the crops inside and the total money amount on your wallet will increase. Holy cow. Congratulations, you've finished the tutorial. Welcome to Harvest VR. Select the tutorial you want to follow. Yeah, okay, we'll start there. So first things first, I'm definitely going to be changing the locomotion settings. I want smooth locomotion and smooth rotation. Oh wow, so you can set it to show the arms of the player, but it is kind of weird. So I'm just gonna leave that off. Now that that's taken care of, let's explore around. So it says there's a tool shed, farmable land, home, and a cooking spot. Way over there, there's a fishing spot. Can't read anything beyond that. But let's start with the tool shed. See what tools we have a while. This can generate, it's called Spawnomat. It generates tools. So you can generate a hoe, shovel, and hand shovel. Let's do all three. There's our hoe, shovel, and hand shovel. Uh-oh, I hear a bee. All right. Do we have any seeds left? We do. Let's plant some tomatoes. So we need to dig this land out, I'd say. Oh, I don't have that tool yet. Chat farm farm. <laughs> I didn't know they would add farm to the end. I wish they would have specified. Let's check out what's at home. It looks like this is how you go to sleep, and I'm assuming that's to pass the time and help your plants grow, and you can save your progress. Let's do that quick, nice and instant. There's a guide on our bed, and I'm assuming that'll take us back to those tutorials. See what's in here. That just takes us back outside. Oh, they even have a little basket that you can use to collect your vegetables. That's pretty cool. I like that touch. This is one of our harvesting bins where we can sell our vegetables. Yeah, the main thing right now is finding a sickle to cut those plants down. So I have a feeling we need to go to town to find that. I hear that bee again. Whoa. Oh, they have a hat. Oh, I love these extra touches that they add in here. It just adds to the realism a little bit. There's a mine over there and the village is over there and that's where you buy more tools. Let's see what the mine has to offer. Looks like it's starting to get to nighttime already. This guy might tell us it's too soon to go to the mine. Press to talk. Hi there, mister. Hi there, I'm too old for this crap. Can you get me 20 bronze? Sure, I need a pickaxe. I'm gonna have to go unlock that from the village, but I don't have any money right now. So I'm kind of in a situation right now. Fishing pond. I have a feeling we're gonna need a fishing rod for this part. Ooh, how about I harvest those apples? Maybe, I don't wanna fall. There we go, that way I can sell them. Ah, you can climb the tree to make your life a little easier. There's one I missed. 
Whoops. So that'll give me a good starting point. Here's the fishing spot, but no fishing rod yet. All right. Apples. We have four. And I just got 20, so hopefully that's enough for a new tool. Let's head over to the village. Walking so slow, I wish that you could move faster. All right, we're off to the village. So there's an art store, seed store, decoration store, tool store, artisan, animal store, and beach. Of course, we're gonna start with the tool store. Here is the tool store. Ooh, here we go. This is what I need. Oh, you need 900 for a sickle. Really? They have all these various tools that you can unlock, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try to leave. Nope, no stealing in this game. Well, that becomes a problem because I don't know how we're gonna make 900. Let's head to the beach and see what they have to offer there. Oh, you can run. You just press down on the thumbstick. Looks like there's a fishing store, a cooking spot, and another fishing spot. Maybe these trees have something? It looks like these ones do. These ones are ground level at least. There's a fish flickering over there. So some of this stuff is unstable, and from my knowledge of game development, I know that if two things are in one place, that's what causes that kind of flickering. So maybe they could work on that. There's some grass over there flickering. I do appreciate how generous they are with these coconuts, though. I bet that's gonna set us forward a lot. Oh, there's a beach ball. So how many total did we end up with? 33. Hopefully that'll give us a good bit of money. Okay, now we can teleport back to our farm and sell all the coconuts and see how much we get. 39. Okay, hopefully that gives us a good bit. Wow, 975. So we absolutely have enough for a sickle now. This guy looks like he's having an existential crisis over here. <laughs> All right, can I see your wares? Let's buy the sickle. Pick up bot item first. Okay. Thank you. We have it. All right, let's go home. I also like that the money's instant. Usually, like in Stardew Valley, for example, when you would sell your items, you'd have to wait overnight for them to sell. So that's a nice touch. It keeps the game moving. Okay, let's use our handy dandy sickle. Got him. Oh no, we need an axe for that part. Maybe we can at least use the parts that we cleared now. And we need a different tool for the rocks. And these bees are terrible. Get out of here, man. Let's get our shovel. Dig some land here. Yes, we can use the land we cleared. Perfect. So now we have all this space to work with. Now I'm going to get our hoe out. You can honestly just drag it along here. Looking good here? Let's get our tomato seeds and plant them all. Just kind of walk along. That's it. Now we need our watering can. And let me go get the second watering can and it'll speed things up, I bet. Oh, they're already growing. I didn't even water them yet. That's gonna show how long they take. These ones are ready to be watered again. All right, we're ready to harvest. We have all these beautiful tomato plants. I'm gonna go get my basket, which again, I feel like is a really nice touch. I hope that I can upgrade the amount of slots later because that's gonna take forever. Oh, you, you can stack them. That changes things. Now we do it all over again. So that gave me 95 tomatoes. And it stinks because a couple in-game days it was tomatoes that gave us two-time profits. That's a shame, but... Wow, 1425. So that was Harvest VR. I'll see you in my final thoughts. So that was Harvest VR. I really had fun with that game. You start out with 10 tomato seeds and three tools, which is all you need to get started. There's also a mine, a beach, and a fishing spot for extra places to explore. I can tell this game gets really in depth and the best part is that it's 100% free. I highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley type games. I wanna thank my patrons, Avelino Sanchez and Litnox VR for supporting the channel. If you'd like to see what additional benefits you can unlock from joining my Patreon, check that out in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon down below so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks, bye.